it's opening day. Uh, it's about four o'clock. Excuse me. Okay, let's try this again. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. So this morning it was raining and I knew it was going to be really warm and it was going to be wet. And quite frankly, I didn't want to do that. So I went and played golf today and now I'm in my stand. And I'll give you a view from up here. Um, the, the crops are coming in really good, nice and green. I see a lot of fresh tracks on my way in along the grass here. So, and uh, we'll just uh, we'll just sit here until dark to see what happens. So, let me turn the camera around and show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> just about seven o'clock and I'm on the west side of the Oaks right down near the field the deer like to come right around this corner over here so we'll see what happens so, don't know how good a video would be but we'll try it so, see you in a bit hi guys as you can see on the edge of the uh, Northfield stand. I'm sitting about uh, 15 yards from old Jack, my decoy out there. I'll, be pay, I'll turn around and give you a little video in a second. As you can see, I'm right in the bright sunshine right now, but as that sun gets down, it's when these deer start coming out. They, they usually come out on the other side of the field, sometimes in this side over here on the, on the west side, but it's usually coming in from that south side or they'll come in up this hedgerow about a hundred yards up they'll come uh, out of the north so the wind is going across me right now heading down here it's uh, it's an east wind so i should be good unless anything tries to sneak in uh, just to my right here which i don't think is going to happen but anyways we're going to wait it out and see what happens i do not have a camera in the tree with me today so I apologize for that, but it's just too complicated for me. I'm not that good a hunter, so I decided to forego the the, uh, the camera in the tree. But I got my rattling horns here and my bow, and I'm all set. So we'll see what happens. Uh, oh, by the way, it's about uh, 3.40 in the afternoon. Um, I've sat here one evening and started seeing deer about four o'clock so i don't expect to see anything much before 4:35 today because it's pretty uh 
pretty bright sky out pretty sunny so we'll see what happens so we'll see you in a bit Here we go, it's Monday evening. This happens to be October 28th. I got Jack down here set up at 10 yards this time. If you remember right, the last time I hunted here, the deer would come in downwind, which would be right over there. And they stayed about 20 yards from them, so we'll wait and see what happens. Anyways, it's a beautiful night, but I'm right in the sun and I'm sweating, so. Hopefully we got some good news to report. Jack, do your thing, buddy. You notice I got his horns up in a basket rack configuration this time. So we'll see what happens. Good morning, everybody. 
my 2019 hunting season has come to an end. Uh, I've bow hunted now for 44 years. Well, let me correct that. I've deer hunted for 44 years. I've bow hunted for 32. I uh, used to be an avid duck hunter until my son was old enough to start bow hunting when he turned uh, 16. That's when I started bow hunting so I could spend some time in the woods with him. Uh, we enjoyed the duck hunting very much, but uh, boy, there's just something about this bow hunting that, that really grabbed my soul. I have been uh, somewhat successful. I have not killed a monster buck while bow hunting. My biggest was uh, about a 120 inch eight point. Uh, that was that was a beauty. That was a while ago. And uh, I think I could estimate and say that in my 44 years of deer hunting, I've probably killed over a hundred different bucks, but uh, I honestly haven't kept track. This year, I knew going in that it was probably my last year. At age 69, I've been blessed with good health. So, I even used my climbing stand again this year, which I hadn't used in about four years, because I've basically been using ladder stands. But uh, my wife and I are pulling out of Rochester on Thursday of this week, so just, uh, what, three more days? And uh, we're working on the motorhome right now, making sure we get everything loaded up but we'll be headed south and this is something that we've worked for for the past so three years and uh, we have an absolutely wonderful truck in store sorry for this wiggly uh, stand here it's on a selfie stick and uh, in my uh, ladder stand but anyways we pull out of here on Thursday we head down the coast we're stopping to visit family and friends in the Carolinas and then down into Florida. We're going to spend some time with the mouse down there at Disney World. And then uh, we have a two week stay. Yes, 14 day stay at Sunshine Key Resort down on Big Pine Key, about 30 miles outside of Key West. We're looking forward to that. So, uh, next year, probably not hunting at all as far as uh, deer goes. Wife and I will be leaving the Rochester area in mid-September, heading west, going out to uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, spend time with family out there, go to the Bloom Fiesta, and then winter in Arizona and Southern California. So, that's why I said this is probably my last year. Um, I turned 70 in May, which coincidentally happens to fall with our turkey season. So I hope to maybe uh, kill a nice time on my birthday this, this coming year. So I'm not gonna quit hunting altogether. It's just I'm not gonna be able to deer hunt in New York anymore. So I've had several opportunities at bucks I mean almost every day I've had a buck in range just not the one that I wanted um, after all this time I'm more into the hunt than I am the kill so I don't uh, I don't have to kill a deer for my hunt to be successful in fact this year's hunt as far as I'm concerned is extremely successful I did have uh, two opportunities that I came to full draw. One of them was on the big nine point down here on the property. 
and he needed he needed to make one more step just one more step and he would have been wide open but he hesitated and I did not want to shoot him in the neck with an arrow because you're more than likely just going to wound him and or you're never going to find him he'll go off die someplace and I just don't want to do that to an animal and that same morning after that I used the rattling horns and rattled in a basket rack eight point right to my tree. I was at full draw because I didn't know how big his rack was until he got here. And when he stepped into my shooting lane at 15 yards and stopped, I decided right then and there not to uh, not to take him. So, like I say, this has been a huge success. Sorry I didn't get more video footage from the tree, but these guys that video hunt and actually uh, film themselves while doing it, you guys are my heroes. I can't do it. I'm just, I just can't do it. So, so I'm sorry I didn't get any, any more video from the tree. But, uh, just about time to climb out of the stand for the last time and uh, take that walk up to the truck so thank you for following along this year and be sure to tune in to our motorhome adventures we'll be posting up a video almost every week probably sometimes twice a week depending on how much content we get so anyways We'll see you down the road. God bless you. Bye-bye. Hey there. I'm back at my house right now, but I thought I needed to add something here. Uh, after I get out of the tree, I get a text message from one of the other guys down there. He had just shot a nice uh, small 10-point, and I helped him uh, get it out of there. Uh, Put it on his bad boy buggy and got it out and helped him load it in the truck but anyways uh, i'm going to share that picture with you and uh so other than that we'll see y'all later bye